So here we go, Big Pipes has been so desperate to get back on the channel, here's his little slot. There we go, that's all the wooden floorboards loosely laid out with the plasterboard stacked on top and you've had your dose of Big Pace. Can we go up the work now? Yes. So a big thanks to Big Pace there, who gave up a couple of hours of work this morning, unpaid as well, which makes a change. Usually he's chasing me for every penny. Anyway, now we've done that, we've got the plasterboard in the loft, we've got all the floorboards I need, they're not all in place at the moment, I've just laid them out to get the plasterboard on, so that's what I've been harping on about for ages. I needed to get it to this point where I can get most of the outside done, get this stuff through and on the floor, and now I know all my plasterboards in place ready to put on the ceiling. Now I may need one or two other sheets, I don't know yet, if I do they're probably going to be bits so small that I can cut them down and bring them up the stairs once they're in place, so that's fine. Anyway, today the plan is, is to finally close up this window now these large sheets are in. So I'm going to put some stud timber down the middle, separate this opening into two um, separate windows. My slating that I've done, I've done perfectly in place so there's going to be basically one full slate and then two half slates every other. So full slate, two half slates, full slate, two half slates, going straight up the middle to that ridge. So you'll have a nice sort of uh, central point where the window splits. And then that one window is going to be as you come up the stairs basically. Um, so when you stood on the landing, you can look out that way. And then this uh, window by here is going to be inside the bedroom. So that's the plan anyway. So I've got to get on with that. And the problem with this job, like I've said before, is you go from one thing to another. So now I'm on this, it's going to be stud timber. Then I'm going to have to do um, some slate work. But before I do that, I've got to do some lead uh, window sills or lead trays in the windows and then the slate onto that and then lead soakers, slate, lead soaker, slate, lead soaker. I've got to do lead soakers at both sides of the window as well. And I've got a feeling I haven't got enough lead. I've got to go and measure that now. So it may be another stop halfway through this to go and get more lead, at which point I need to buy a few bits for the guttering as well to finish that off. Um, and then when all that's done, like I say, the scaffolding can go. But there's just so many little things that I'm jumping and bouncing back and forth on different jobs. It's bank holiday tomorrow, so I've got another day up here, hopefully. I haven't done the counter 
and you put the horizontals on it, put the verticals on. So these are coming back off, two long lengths of batten first, and then these back on again. There we go, that's 10 minutes down the drain. enough for tonight. Now I've got to make that old cover that I was putting in here split it into two and try and make two of them for these two windows before it gets dark. So let's give that a go. Right, so I didn't film that bit because, well, as you can see, it's getting dark quickly. So um, I managed to do it. I chopped them in half, measured them up. I got one in there now securely. I used this one for getting in and out. So now I'm going to fit it into place. Should get back out the next day, remove these panels now, and we'll get on with it.
Okay, so that's that done. I'll slate it all the way up. You see I use screws, not nails, right in the top. Basically because it was easier to get a fix in up there with a screw and it's a bit more solid. Obviously where I've had to go over with a slate, I've used nails. Um, like behind there I had to use nails, but for the final ones you can see I've just used the screw there. Anyway, so that's all those done. Um, I've got all my lead soakers around the side of the windows there. And there's just a different view of it from down here. As you can see now, nice and neatly, the two window openings. space for the side dormer. As you saw I've done the windows, I've done the um, slate, lead, I've just put on the first board of the soffit. There's obviously the UPVC I've got to add later but I'll do that once all the windows are in. Um, so definitely the windows are the next thing I need to do for that. But now because I've got a bit more time left today I've got this rear dormer that you would have seen videos ago now. I haven't touched that for ages. I'm going to be getting access out of this uh, space here because I've just pulled the cover back off going around the side. And we're going to be doing the, um, the timber fascias again, just like we did on the, the side dormer. Timber fascias, uh, timber soffits underneath. I've got to make a few fittings to um, screw the soffits up underneath. And then once that's on, I can do the plastic UPVC um, coverings, fascia and soffit. Um, no gutters on the rear dormer. The roof's so small, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to let the water run off onto the main roof with that. So that's a bit easier, less hassle. The only tricky thing is with this is obviously... I've got to walk up and down the slate to do this. It's going to be a lot more fiddly because the, the rear dormer, I've got the scaffold there, I can just sort of stand on and, and stretch out. But there we go. So that's the next plan. I'm not going to film all of this because it's going to be a little bit difficult unless I leave the camera running down the bottom. Um, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, the first thing to do is fit my fascia vents now to the timber fascias. Um, so I'll do that, trim the fascia down to size, try and get it into place, and I can go from there. Right, so we're on the rear dormer here, and as I said, I haven't actually shown you the work I've been doing here because it's difficult to set the camera up, but just like on the other dormer, for the soffits, I've just done these timbers there, screwed them on, I'm sliding down the roof at the moment, so excuse me, um, and then I put these pieces of 2x2 two two which I screwed in just to give some um, support for some screws to go up then for my soffit board, so I'll do the same again, I'll use the treated timber soffit board right to the end here and then we've got some wood then to put all the UPVC into I could just use short screws for that exactly like I did on the other dormer in a previous video